an operation theta, incidentally, this is the Greek letter theta, an operation theta is defined by the equation a theta b equals a minus b over a plus b for all numbers a, b, such that a is not equal to negative b. And incidentally, the reason they have to give that restriction, if a equaled negative b, then the denominator of the fraction would be zero. And of course, you can't have that because when you divide by zero, you're breaking the mathematical law. So they tell us if a is unequal to negative c and a theta c is zero, what is c? Well, following the equation they give us, a theta c has to equal a minus c over a plus c. And if this equals zero, the only way that a fraction can equal zero is if the numerator equals zero. And incidentally, if all this talk about fractions and numerators and denominators is this is something that you're feeling awfully rusty on, I highly recommend check out magoosh.com. Magoosh.com is an online test prep agency. We prepare people with the GMAT. We have hundreds of math videos, also hundreds of videos on the verbal side. And the math videos include everything that you'll need to know about fractions in order to perform with mastery on the GMAT. So please check out Magoosh.com and help yourself clear up these things about fractions. So meanwhile, we know that the numerator has to equal zero. Well, if a minus c equals zero, that means that a equals c. And so what does c equal? c has to equal a, which is answer choice e.